Welcome to our uh, talk, short talk, about uh, our experience with uh, Drupal, Paragraphs, and uh, Next.js. Uh, uh, basically, disclaimer first, because this uh, is a uh, presentation about our personal experience using Drupal and Next.js, and it's not uh, to serve as a guide or best practice on how to code with uh, Drupal and Next.js. This, this is just the setup that we made at Finalist. Uh, and uh, I have a creative background that uh, this setup we like very much. It it's, uh, uh, offers endless possibilities. So a bit of this later. Uh, we will give a short introduction first. Then the first part of the presentation I will tell a bit about uh, design and the process, uh, which is really awesome with this setup. And then we have a small demo uh, presenting a corporate marketing site for a product of Finalist. And then in short, a conclusion, a conclusion and some time for a Q&A. Uh, my name is David van der Westende. Uh, I'm a digital designer and front-end developer at Finalist. I have a broad background in design. I worked in New York, uh, Brussels and Amsterdam for the bigger uh, agencies. Uh, and since recently I focused more on development and together with Justin. Uh, yeah. My name is Justin, I'm a virtual uh, full-stack developer at Finalist with a deep passion for web development, uh, particularly for focused on front innovation and design. Mm -hmm. uh, our aim is to create uh, meaningful, lastful and delightful digital experiences and have some fun along the way building them. Uh, for me personally, that's a big part of the, the process. I want to enjoy this uh, process, not only make the client happy, but also uh, yeah, have some fun doing it. Um, in my career, I was always set back by, digital, by uh, technical limitations. Uh, and I think this setup with Next.js offers an awesome design experience. I think you can easily create a mock-up really fast for a component. Um, yeah, for me as a, uh, as a designer, that's yeah, really cool. Um, this is some reference of uh, graphic design uh, by Gail Huybrecht and Studio Hestrum. Uh, these are one of my favorite uh, digital designers. I really like that the uh, graphics are more bold, are more like magazines how they were in the 50s. Uh, they are really interactive, there's really much going on, uh, but balanced. And I always wanted to make these kind of things, but I didn't know how. I didn't know much about coding, uh, so I learned some JavaScript. Uh, a friend of mine told me that I should learn React, because that's the thing to, to make these things uh, uh, fast. Uh, so I did. And um, yeah, based on these inspirations, the, the kind of work that I would like to make. Uh, we started uh, setting this up in our own time at uh, Finalist, uh, and we were helped, of course, by, by colleagues at uh, Finalist to, to, uh, to give this some shape. Um, my aim was to, to convert sort of the print heritage to a digital medium that can be interactive, that can animate, that can have all the nice modern features inside of it, like 3AS or React 3 Fiber. Um, and uh, on our quest, because we didn't know what spec to use, uh, we came to Drupal and XGS combination, which is really powerful. Uh, so why Atlas? Yeah, it's a powerful backend, uh, combined with XGS more flexible front-end features. Uh, of course, there are a lot more advantages that I don't know super much about. But what I personally like is that um, it's fast. So you can have uh, transitions between pages, keep content on there, uh, play video, scale video, uh, and have a really fluid experience uh, overall. Um, like mentioned, I'm, I'm a designer, hardcore designer, uh, but I can make my own uh, content or paragraph types in Drupal uh, quite easily. Uh, you add the fields to it. Um, this is all done by, by a sort of a start template from chapter 3 that Justin will talk a little bit more about. 
And on top of that, if you add animations or use animation libraries, um, like GSAP or Frame in Motion, multi files of 3AS that I did in a, in a small example, you can create yeah, almost anything on canvas. I think it's. I studied uh, visual effects also, uh, 3D and uh, explosions. Um, and I really love that it co all comes together on, on, the, on the web canvas. So you, you can combine graphic design, topography, illustration, animated graphics, video, film, 3D, you name it. And you can all put that into one container and have a really smooth, really awesome experience. Um, so a really small example that I would like to show is based on the work of Studio Herstrom, the Elvis uh, image. Uh, I mock up uh, a logo, custom SVG logo in Figma. I add the frame for, uh, for the 3AS component. I add some custom typography, not the plain typography of course, but really justified gaps in between, which makes it really stand out. Um, and then start building the paragraph in Next.js. This, this is the setup that we made at the finalist. And um, yeah, you can just add the fields that you need, the components that you need in there, and add some animation on top, and you have all of this fairly quickly. So you can imagine if you have a lot of building blocks for a marketing site or for, for a normal site, you can really stack those on top of each other and it all, all works really fluently out of the box. That's what, what I like as a designer. Uh, of course, it works also with uh, uh, Storybook. So you can start in Storybook with uh, static content. Uh, yeah, it makes it really nice. Yeah, and then I will uh, make, uh, show you a demo. Uh, in this case, we made we recreated the David on new site. It is uh, a marketing site. It's a simple marketing site that was created in HTML, CSS. And we, we recreated it with uh, Drupal, Drupal Paragraphs and Next.js 14. And I walk you through the process of mapping to the Paragraphs reference field, creating dynamic components, importing template files, and rendering the paragraph. Additionally, towards the end of the demo, I will show you how we handle web, web forms in the, the Next.js Drupal combination. First, I will show you the uh, integration we use. Chapter 3 makes integration it's easy to, to integrate Drupal with Next.js. Their integration is based on Next.js 13, and I wanted to make it for Next.js 14. So not everything works, but most of the things, the, the crucial parts of this, uh, that work with their, with their uh, integration. First, I want to show you how we fetch data. I'm, I make a uh, variable Drupal node that's, called, that's from the integration. Then first, I give it the uh, paragraph type. It's uh, something we can get from the the, the, the API call we made in the, in the JSON outputs, they give an, uh, an, uh, a note type for each note. Then we create a UUID. This only uh, is necessary if you want the, the page for a specific page. This time it's for the front page. Just only want this template for the front page, just so I give it a UUID. And then I include all the entities. All the entities needed to include separately in the uh, API call that you made. For example, for the images, the media images, and all the paragraph reference we made in it. And then I created a dynamic import. So for the uh, yeah, for the user part it, in the Drupal, you want to dynamically create pages with paragraphs. In Next.js, I made a dynamic paragraph uh, uh, function based on their uh, paragraph type. It's something a paragraph gives with the uh, API call. And based on the paragraph type, I created a template that I named after the corresponding paragraph type, like we do in uh, Twig. And then I import that, that template uh, if it's selected, of course, it's come from the uh, API icon. Now, for example, I want to show you the spotlight component. As if you go back to the uh, video, the component with the title and the four boards on it. We have to wait. We have to wait. <laughs> it's in the beginning of the site, so we have to wait a little bit more. <coughs> this component. This one I want to show you. Yeah. That is 
Rumble side is still in the title, the subtitle, that's the orange part of the title. We don't know the best record for it, but this is how, uh, how he created it. Then a byline, so I an, an extra line in it. And then we select a, uh, another paragraph, futures. A future uh, paragraph entry reference in our paragraph, and that's today I'm going to select the futures with the title, the, type, the text, and the image. Here, this is uh, the, the template file that I named after the uh, paragraph type that is rendered up by the dynamic component. And here I map the data to the right component that we made in Next.js. And this is the Next.js component we created, and, uh, the, and on the right you see the front end of it. I give it uh, the, the title, then the subtitle, the orange title in it, then the byline, it's the, little, it's the small text under it. And then I map to all the futures and give it the, uh, the, the right variable of name. And then at least I want to show you how we do the web forms. Just a normal form I created in a, an HTML. Uh, and with, uh, if you uh, fill in your email address, it will be submitted to a post, uh, post sent to the, uh, to the Drupal side of it. And in your web forms, at Drupal you see the submission going in, so we can, have, we, we can handle all the content in the Drupal side component. That was the demo. Yeah, this is a really compact <laughs> showcase of what we did so far. This, this has been made in the last couple of months. Um, but I have a background uh, working with uh, more uh, immersive digital experiences, and I can imagine that this setup offers all, everything you need for a designer to create the output you want. I don't see any limitations whatsoever, so I'm really eager to get my hands more dirty with this uh, stack. And uh, yeah, I think we're just uh, getting started. Um, are there any questions? <laughs> After your experiences with the SEO uh, results for the website you created in, uh, in Next? Yeah, I, I'm not, uh, like I said, I'm not a, a full stack developer or a design background, but I, I've read that SEO is optimized using Next.js, but I don't know how it works. The most part of it is optimized by Next.js, and the, the other side is how you normally do it in Drupal, then, only then you do it in, at the next uh, front end. Yeah, okay, so all the search engines are fully capable? Yeah, you can, uh, the, all, all search engines are capable to search with your site. Okay. Yeah. I see a hand in the back. I uh, first we created the Next.js site, so the, uh, the form was created, was already there. Ah, and yeah. We only made the uh, connection between Next.js and Drupal uh, at the end of it. Okay. Yep. Um, did you do anything to make review the web forms? Uh, yeah, I did a test myself, because that's in the chapter 3 uh, 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 template as well. And uh, that works also fine, but in the use cases we prepared for today, it's not there. Uh, but it works uh, if you follow the steps uh, in, in, of the tutorial. It works. I wanted to try it with the next 14. In the next 13, uh, it, it works. There's a uh, piece of works in uh, Drupal. But in the next 14, there are some, some difference uh, with uh, the app and the page router. So the, the integration doesn't support it yet. They are working on it. Uh, All right. Okay. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>